What is up everybody? I am Joseph. This is Joseph's Place and welcome back to another progress video on my road to Inferno. And I just want to preface this by saying whoever voted uh, to make me do quests for this episode, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, and I really do mean this, fuck you. I absolutely despise questing, and this week was no exception. But the challenge was to complete 10 quests, and I went above and beyond because I am such an overachiever. Uh, real quick, before we get into the actual progress, I want to say just stick around towards the end if you're interested in my content. I have something I want to talk about, and I don't want to talk about now because it will kind of get me off track, but it will come towards the end of the video. So if you're interested in seeing more of my content, I will talk more about that at the end of the video, but let's get into this week's progress. Now, I wanted to start off this episode by procrastinating, so I decided to start my clue. I have a master clue that I got at the end of last episode, so I decided to start that, and I had a hot cold clue, and who knew you have to do a quest to even start those. So I was forced into doing Making History, which wasn't too bad, especially since I had a guy telling me exactly where to go. And then I was able to continue on my clue. And to my pleasure, I was able to do most of these steps uh, pretty easily without having to go into the wilderness or without having to really do any skilling uh, up to the level that Master Clues normally have. So the first big obstacle for this was to do another quest. And I guess I didn't have to do it, but it made my life so much easier. Uh, the clue was to talk to someone in the woodcutting guilds, so I did the Clan of Korand quest, and since I am so efficient, used my bonus favor on House Hosidius, because that's what I needed for the clue. And even though that's the easiest house, I got that out of the way, got 100% favor, and continued on my clue. And to my surprise, I was able to finish this clue and got actually decent items made out with about after i sold everything about 2.5 mil mainly from an armadil god sword ornament kit so that was pretty nice uh, it paid me back for most of the stuff i had to do for the clue i had to buy a few things to do some steps but it was a nice reward in the end so i decided to move on with a few more quests and i have changed my goals a little bit or not my goals but my my plan a little bit so i decided to get all the quests done i needed for all the hard diaries right now while i was at it and so I would never have to touch quests for a long time. So I got the hard ones out of the way, and I did Morning's End Part 1, and started on Morning's End Part 2, and realized that I wanted to kill myself, so I actually spent two days on that quest. I had to stop in the middle, go to bed, wake up, and finish the quest, because that quest just stresses me out so much. Even with a guide, I just, I can't stand it. There's too much to, to worry about in that quest and think about, and I did not want to deal with it at 1 o'clock in the morning. So I did that quest between two days. The next quest I did was Miss Thalon Mystery, just because it was the only free-to-play quest I had left and figured it'd be easy. So I went ahead and did that, and it was pretty easy. A lot of, I think the cutscenes lasted longer than the actual quest. Next came Anakra's Lament, which I don't think I've ever done in my life. Uh, this quest was complete, new, completely new to me and actually not too bad overall. My biggest problem with quests is that I've done most of them already, and I don't think I've ever done this one, so it was a nice change of pace. After that, I did Eyes of Glofry. Gla Glofry. Doesn't even matter. And this quest was absolutely annoying, mainly because I just remember it being annoying, so I went in with a bias and completely forgot how to do that puzzle, and that took me longer than it should have, I hate to admit it. After that, I did Hand in the Sand. Not too long of a quest, but not too fun of a quest. After that, I had to do another slice of ham, but to do that, I had to do the prerequisites. So a giant dwarf and death to the Dorkshun were completed, and then finally I was able to move on to another slice of ham. And I found that these like more beginner quests were actually more annoying to do than the end level, not counting morning's end, but the higher level quests. I always find that these easier or shorter quests are just more annoying to do. Uh, that being said, after another slice of ham was shoved down my gullet like a nice Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> I moved on to Swan Song, which was the last quest. And that one actually was quick. That was a short quest. I expected that one to be much longer. But that was the last quest I had to do. And that wrapped up our 12 quests for this video and all of the quests I needed for the hard diaries. So now I have the skills and the quests required to complete them all. And I can go do those anytime I want, which will probably be sooner rather than later. But now I have them out of the way at least. And that about wraps up the overall progress of this video. Now I want to move on to what I'll be working on for the next video and the extra content that I'll be making. So 
if you didn't already know, it is for streaming. The extra content will be streaming. And the reasoning behind this is I will be doing my first fire cape. And if any of you know, if, even, if any of you have seen me do PVM, you know I'm absolutely terrible at it. Oh, unlucky. Uh, <laughs> so I thought streaming my first fire cape attempt would be somewhat interesting. So this Friday on July the whatever Friday is, the 14th at 8 p.m. EST, I will be starting my stream, hopefully around there. I'll put an announcement video up at that time just to let you guys all know. So if you're interested in seeing me fail at a fire cape, tune in then. And I'll leave the link to my Twitch down in the description. And again, I will post a little video on this channel when that goes live. So I do want to get my fire cape because I will be doing Slayer from here on out for the next little while. Now I, I do want to get 90 range and that's my current goal, but I'll be doing that by cannoning Slayer and I will be able to get 90 attack at the same time. And again, the reason I'll be getting attack is because I'll be doing raids and bossing for majority of my money making after I get the stats, I, the combat stats I need. So right now my main goals are 90 ranged and then <clears throat> basically to get 80 Slayer, so then I can get magic up, but 80 Slayer, which will also get me 90 attack. So those are my goals right now. So I'll be working on Slayer for the next little while, but since I will be doing Slayer, I do need a Fire Cape, so I want to stream that. And if Friday goes well, I will continue to stream my Fire Cape progress because I will be working on getting a total of 30 fire capes so i may just stream all of them if friday goes well so if that's something that interests you tune in then but that is all the progress i was able to make in this week mostly due to my pro procrastination of these quests so uh, i will not be doing a straw poll this week for what uh, what the next video will be about as it's going to be about slayer i just want to get these melees done that just opens up my my content just a little bit more. It lets me do a few more things. So I want to get that out of the way, but it shouldn't take too long. But again, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time, hopefully on Friday.